This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? WCAC Girls semifinal matchup features the Lady Knights from Bishop O'Connell High School in Arlington, Virginia versus the Lady Panthers from Paul VI High School in Fairfax, Virginia. Our starting lineups first for the Lady Knights with a record of 22 and 5. Today on the girls' end, both games down at the Matha. And now these two meet the winner. We'll see the top seeded Bishop McAmara here as you see, Mr. Knight. which Bishop O'Connell was able to take care of business against Ball of Six. Ball of Six won the first meeting in December and back to bed. Now, winner moves on as this O'Connell first trip in the semifinals and comes to Ball of Six. Both sides, ball to six, Coach Allen, which will need defense, play together. Yeah. Uh, coach and staff, and hopefully shoot well and get inside that one tipped and missed there by Coca. The rebound back over to the Lady Knights here, Simmons with it. Over as Leah James. First team, WCAC, and I mentioned long distance pass. Back over again to Simmons, shot clock down to 13. We run it back again. 
Spat it, turned over. In the passing lane. Had to slow it down there. Was that Austin? Austin got it back now. Gives it up there to Perkins. They swing it back again. Nice pass up there by Kelly. Get it back again to Perkins. Inside. Swings it. Open three. Got it. That's a nice little shot too. Austin. Austin with that two, that long distance three. We knock a game here for ball of six. Ranked nationally. Ranked 12 in the Muskrat Bowl. 14th in the European Women's Bowl. Yeah. Austin with the knee. It's going to be a back. No, it's back. Three. Simmons got to put it up. And did not. Back in the hands of Paul the six here. Jumper. No good. Check the ball. Simmons grabs the ball. Back over. Inside. Back. Nice save. Austin with the Lady Panthers. Looking good here. Top four seeds in both ends, making it to the semis. The five seeds made it hard on the fours, though, I tell you that. We're talking about that amazing game from St. John's and good counsel. Foul is called. First couple of strikes here for the Lady Knights coming up to the line. Here to shoot two. First shot, no good. Second shot, no good. Offensive rebound goes in. I like that. Turn over back. Both free throws missed, but Bishop O'Connor gets the twos to go down and it's a one point game. Tilly inside, got sandwiched, turned it over. Here comes the Knights. They got slowed down though, numbers not in their favor. Carlack gives it up to Smith. Right over to center. Down to six. Simmons puts it up and it went high off the glass. Rebound there to Perkins and the Lady Panthers. They kick it. They got numbers. The layup goes to Hashtag. Five two lead here yeah. to the Lady Panthers. Yeah. 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 Second team foul against the Lady Panthers. a drive. Had to pull it back. Turned it over. Now James got it. It got batted again. Turned over. Ball six. Up by three. Trying to take it up a little bit more. Now against O'Connell. That's their first team. That's Clock down to 19, playing it down. The screen floater and did not go off. It's a rebound briefly. 
and the trees is in there for the Lady Knights. Simmons, coast to coast. Got it. Locked the whole clean there. Austin swings it. Lost the ball with Volker and the Lady Knights get it back. Off the turn. Team trying to settle in here. And these two teams have not met. And it'll over them up. Oh, we'll close that line. Yes. Back court. Yeah. Real close. 5 2 lead here. Bishop McNamara, and that's a return by Simmons. That's the second team five now on the Lady Knights. That's on charge number two, Sky Simmons, that's her first. And second. Back door cut, and a walk. Walker again, got trapped. The defense there by O'Connell. Still a 5-2 game. Still a one possession of there. Under the legs there. Back. So perfect two. Kept the miss. Rebound there by Kirk. Walker. Got it in there. Two games. Going back. And a blocking foul. 13 foul against uh, Lady Panthers. Foul Sashi got it in. We got a full three point game. Excuse me, something four. Austin. That's a corner. That's a three. No, seven with the high rebound. Smaller team is offensive foul of Team foul against uh, O'Connor. 150 left here in the first. Back. Inside. Miles turns it over. O'Connor can tie this game with a three. Swing it. Simmons gets it back. Turns it back. The screen. Tashi. Shot clock down to seven. Gotta do something with it. There she goes. All right, inside. Missed it high. Rebound there. Kenfrey. Inside the layup goes. Four, nice transition bucket there. Five, ball to six. Inside, layup goes. Major James. Look at that. He's down the three shot clock, game clock. About a 11 second difference. Against Paul the six, that's their fourteen foul. Three, you know, it's against Bishop O'Connell, and that's their fourth.
17 seconds left. Second quarter here underway tomorrow's right here with Bishop O'Connell down by three. In the second go semi-final match. And him and all the six. Shot clock running down here. Side. Got it to go. About Smith with that two. We had a one point game. 98. Go back to Bishop O'Connell. That's the turn Thank <laughs> you. 
Simmons got out of it, dished it over. We got a walk. Ball back to Paul the six. A seven point lead for the two seed. And down again. Foul on the floor against O'Connell. That's a 16 foul. One more. That's going to put ball six. Number 24, Asian James. That's her second team six. Poker. They got both players of the year. Jumper no good. Five going back. Oh. Loose ball foul charge. Number 14, Faye Austin. So second, team four. to lead to five now. Bat it, turned over. Back the other way. Simmons, over. That's jump burn over. James looking to get that rebound. Walker, another pass. And that's Kennedy and goes in there for Taylor. Seventeen ten lead for ball six. Off the foot again. Nice save. All alone. And the two will go. Time out. Time out. Heights. I'm gonna call him a Dixon. A Dixon, excuse me. Dixon. Wise one. Biggest cool. lead here for ball uh, six. At nineteen to ten. Always thank you for joining us here tonight. right now has taken advantage of their offensive opportunities. Connell has not been easy for them on the other end. Doubles. Oh, got it! That was a huge bucket there. For the Long distance pass, that's a three, and it spins out. That's a call the Sixers victim to the spin out here. That's the third one. Third and a half. Brown. Here's it up. Simmons back. Brown, 237 here left. Bannett turns it over. 
Back the other way. Perkins. Back to Borelli. He saved it barely. Back the other way is Simmons. Swings. Fakes it. Brown inside. And she's shooting to. 15 foul against Paula Six. So shot in it. Right, Second shot goes down. So Connell's gotten himself back within five again. Going back to O'Connor. Nice defense. Drive, pull up. Shooting two again. The Simmons this time. Number 10, 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 number Go for me, go for it. Offensive rebound. Simmons for three. No good off the back. Here comes Carlos. What we got? We got a foul. Off. Two fouls on. Should be the one and one. If it is against Bishop O'Connor, it is. Ah, oh, the one oh, instance where you don't shoot free throws, both teams get a double foul and put both teams in the one and one here. Kind of tough. You call on both. One can't put the water free throws on both of Each team has 17 fouls. Do the right thing. 136 left in. Perkins. Looking to go post to post for the ball to whistle. And they will. And the one on one is in effect. Number two, Makaya Simmons. Answer, second. Take. Get some shots. Mel Perkins. Exactly. First shot. No good. Gonna get the good in a great matchup. Bishop McNamara and Kyle from the girls' side. But uh, check out the black zone. Nice one. Three. Four. 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 Tyson Curry getting the job done. And that was tough on the flex zone. You need to score how you want it when you need it. Every Monday night, 10 p.m. on Facebook Live and also now on each of your podcasting services. It's Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, etc. You can hear it every Wednesday. The flex zone. 120 left and a half. Double. Back up. Looking for it. And it will stay with O'Connell. Side lost it. 
The good news is O'Connell keeps the bandage in just one second after the shot. Gotta put it up. He did not hit the rim and shot clock on Ball back to ball to six here. They're trying to get out the half well. 61 seconds here, isn't it? The roll to go. Sally again. The sophomore. Eight point lead here for Paul Six. Shooting the one on one is O'Connell now as well. Both teams are 18 fouls each. Good shot in it. The shot goes. Comes up two. Seconds left. Shot clock. Any clock. No clock. Seven seconds. Second game. Okay, it's an eight point lead for the second seed. Paul the six goal. Federal PWG today. About the second half of this one. Coming your way over the last three minutes. Here from the Bend Arena. American University. Second half here underway. Morning Sky here with your Bishop O'Connell. Looking up down by eight. Get to the two seed. Ball of six. That's inside. That one missed wide. Let's see if O'Connell can make some hay here. Simmons shoots. Off the back, no good. The rebound very nicely to Kirk. Back over. They Six pieces on there. Last girl, so I'm Hano at you. Switching the boys' action. What a day. Swings it back. Off 
the glass and in. And Austin getting in the point total. Oh, there she's been distributing all game, and now she gets her first bucket. And it gives Paul to see their biggest lead. Really trying to turn it up. That's it from that. Rebound on Arthur Telly. Gets it back right over to Austin. Nice cut to the basket and then. So Dix take timeout. Time out. Six has increased their lead here to their biggest margin, 30 to 20. Look, 30 to 16. Not let this one to, as you say, the caboose to fly and run wild in this one. Sean McNair was a step by the Wooden Journalists for the Annapolis Capital newspaper. Spent over 30 years covering local, college, and professional sports. He reported on everything from state high school basketball championships to the Final Four. John McNair was one of five employees of the Annapolis Capital who were gunned down in a mass shooting in the newspaper on June 18, 28, 2018. Among many other honors, he was one of the Time Magazine's persons of the year for 2018. His widow finished his book, The Capital of Basketball, a history of DC high school hoops. She is up in my concessions selling this book. If you're interested, you can go up and visit. She is up signing copies available. Again, the capital of basketball. On sale up by the concessions on the upper concourse. Thank you, VA. Nice for that message so much. Our mind there was a institute in the right now. Of course, we're reading some of this work over the years and it's sad that tragedy that happened that listen wish all the families the best in that situation shot clock running out here for O'Connell they're trying to get back in this one six back door every time gotta put it up during the basketball in the floor the shot clock running out and the ball back to ball of six Screen back. Deep three. Bang! Perkins strikes again. And now this lead has moved up to 17. to get that one to go. Except the miss, rebound there to Parker. And, but it went wide, turned it over. Inside, missed it wide. Oh, fits the rebound, goes down. The full switch points here. I cost the lead for 13. And a foul. First team foul against Bishop O'Connor. And the it over back to Austin and they give it up. Perkins will swing it back. 
Swings it. That's a three from Perkins. Oh, spin out. Well, that's the fourth time that's happened. The ball is six. That one missed. Nice fight for the ball back to Parker. She couldn't get it in. The ball back everywhere. And finally, O'Connell gets it. And a foul. Way over Sellers there trying to get the steal back. The second team foul. Fans in it. Drive and shoot two. for the two seeds, ball to six. Fully took over this game now. 
Shot goes. Twenty four seconds left in town. Three ball. Ah, did not go. Smith. Eleven seconds left. Parker. Splits the D, went under the basket, two, Nazi gets it, get it in time though. After three, Paul the six has dominated this third quarter. In a 41-25, they want to meet Bishop McAmara in that final game, you know. We're back in the fourth quarter here, I mean, that's like work in the second WC, you see somebody in the final game. University Fender Arena, home to the Eagles of the Patriot League. Right now in the second girl semifinal game, Paul Six has dominated the second half. They're up by 16 here, 41-25. Trying to play Bishop McMahon in a rematch of last year's semifinal matchup in the finals. And the top two seeds would meet there right now. Fifth. Kind of one tie break over St. John's. Good here. Seventeen on the shot clock. Perkins, nice dish. Did not get the finish. Offensive rebound does go in. And Patella, you can slide one more to the game. Missed it off the back. 18 point lead here. 
there for a ball of six. Brown. Tips. Down 17. They have for Bishop Magna. Every possession is important in this game. Turnover. Nice hands there by Kenfick. Back over to Austin. And slow it. Clock. We're gonna run some down. Smart if you call it a six right now. Tell it. Dish. Missed it wide. Behind the back there. Out. Down to Faulkner and then up to Austin. She brings it. For three. Missed it. Right out. Start the clock at 6.03, Lop. Second time out here for ball to six. 43-27. Right here, respect to see both Paul six and Victor Magnamarachi with the ball from the St. John. Remember, St. John's is going through the playoffs. We need to talk about that. Maybe the next time I'm here. Remember, here on the last one, that we will be next week at George Washington for the D.C. SAA Championship. Class A for boys and girls and class double A for boys and girls as well. Can't wait for that. Violation. And you gotta be honest. No the knife boss is getting more points right now. They're trying to run that time down. They get ready for the showdown against Bishop Magamai. Five minutes 
left in this one. Well, six of Gain control here, Philly in the second half. They haven't looked back. Looking inside, and a foul. Kelly coming to the line to shoot two to the sophomore. CAC Girls Championship game between the two. Chris O'Connor, what a great season they've had. The team that last season was eight seed, moved up to the, one of the top four spots to play magnificent throughout the year. And they would be called six in the last meeting. Today has been the Lady Panthers and the co-player of the year on the girls' side of WCAC, Lee Coco, getting the job done. And then the Lady Panthers, that's a three. That's if the mess no good. Offensive rebound. Back over to Hastick. We had several folks collide there. Everybody gets up to set. Still okay, and I think right now we're all six of my head, so I think I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Down the 
13. Lost it. Up. It went high. No good. Back over to Smith. Bill Conkin in and out. Well. And a reach in. That's the first team foul. 216 left. Pull out. Missed it wide. Over the other way. Taking his time with it. Should. That's when he's over. Buckner. Swing it. Pass it. Shot clock at seven. Back to Austin. Austin. Shot clock violation again. This O'Connell had a magnificent season. It will come to an end. They're going to fall to six here today, but it's been a building year for them. They can definitely go back building this year. Look on the positive. Three ball. No good. Austin with the rebound. They will come back next year stronger. I tell you, I think they will. No doubt about that. Coach Dix has done a magnificent job winning post of the year and girls in the NWC. We'll get their 29th win of the season. They go to 29 and 3. And they have a date with Bishop McNamara for the WCAC Girls Championship here at America. Coming up here tonight. This is Die Sporting Network.